Hania is a young Pakistani girl who is struggling to balance her Islamic beliefs with the pressures of modern society. She grew up in a devout Muslim family, and despite facing ridicule and mockery from her peers, she has always held on to her faith dearly. However, her struggles began when her classmates, who are influenced by Western ideals and pop culture, started to embrace lifestyles that contradict Islamic teachings. Hania is deeply concerned about her classmates' obsession with following celebrities like BTS and Blackpink, as she sees firsthand the negative impact it has on the younger generation's minds. She noticed that her peers become consumed by a desire to emulate the glamorous lifestyles of these celebrities, often neglecting their own identities and values in the process. They mock her for adhering to what they perceive as outdated religious beliefs and accuse her of being narrow-minded and uneducated. She witnesses the harmful effects of excessive screen time and social media consumption on her classmates' mental health. Many become addicted to their phones, constantly scrolling through feeds and seeking validation through likes and comments. This constant exposure to curated images and idealized lifestyles fosters feelings of discontent and dissatisfaction with their own lives, contributing to a cycle of comparison and self-doubt. She recognizes that her classmates' obsession with celebrities like BTS and Blackpink not only distracts them from their Islamic beliefs and values, but also damages their mental well-being. Hania values her Islamic beliefs and tries to explain their importance to her classmates. However, they reject her and idolize celebrities and materialistic pursuits. She observes how this obsession leads to low self-esteem and hinders emotional development and interpersonal skills. Hania finds comfort in her Islamic studies class amid her peers' indifference. Her teacher announces special Ramadan lectures, with the first one discussing the concept of the New World Order from an Islamic perspective. All right, class, her teacher announces, today we're going to discuss a concept called the New World Order. This is a topic that might seem a bit complex, but we'll break it down step by step. The concept of the New World Order suggests that the family structure may change in several ways. Homosexual marriages may become legal, reducing parental authority in raising children, and the state may play a more significant role in guiding their upbringing. Additionally, women may be employed by the state instead of being homemakers, and divorce may become more accessible while traditional monogamous marriage could become less common over time. Now, let's move on to changes in the workplace. The New World Order proposes that the government could take over all the tools and resources used to make products and services. This could mean that people might not be allowed to own property anymore, which would be a huge change from the way things are now. Finally, let's discuss changes in religion. The New World Order suggests that religion could be outlawed altogether. This means that practicing any form of religion could be prohibited, and those who believe in a particular religion could face severe consequences, such as imprisonment or worse. Instead, it suggests that a new religion centered around the worship of humanity and the human mind could be introduced, and everyone would be expected to adhere to this new belief system. As she listens to the lecture, Hania experiences a profound sense of clarity and conviction in her faith. Let's delve deeper into the concept of the New World Order and its potential implications in light of Islamic teachings, particularly regarding the arrival of Dajjal. In Islam, there are prophecies about the arrival of a figure known as Dajjal, who is often referred to as the deceiver. According to Islamic tradition, Dajjal will emerge during a time of great turmoil and chaos in the world. His arrival will be marked by widespread deception, oppression, and the twisting of truth. He will claim to be divine and will seek to lead people astray from the path of righteousness. The New World Order's proposed changes in family structure, government control of production, and outlawing private property ownership go against Islamic values. The replacement of religion with a new belief system centered around the worship of humanity could be seen as a precursor to the deception and manipulation the deceiver is said to bring about. The emphasis on materialism and the denial of spirituality could be seen as a precursor to the type of deception and manipulation that Dajjal is said to bring. The new world order can be seen as a preparation for the arrival of Dajjal, bringing societal changes and ideologies that align with the prophesied conditions. It reminds Muslims to remain steadfast in their faith, seek knowledge, and be vigilant against deception. Upholding justice and righteousness are essential in the face of challenges. Hania's commitment to Islam is reaffirmed through this lecture, strengthening her faith and providing her with the spiritual guidance she needs to navigate life's challenges. Despite the pressures of her peers and popular culture, she remains steadfast in her devotion to Islam. Hania strives to be a guiding light for her peers, encouraging them to embrace the true essence of Islam and break free from harmful influences.